what is sap app app so what is sap sap is a erp product right which helps to run the organization and it, it contains predefined functionalities to run the business right so it provides better integration between different business process of uh, different departments in a organization it improves the business efficiency right so sap is one of the erp product so who developed or who uh, introduced the sap sap erp sap sir sap company itself company name also sap okay and the product erp product name is also sap and the current version is uh, which one s4 2023 yeah s sap s4 kana 2023 is the latest version okay how s4 hana is different from sap ecc in a, in a ecc, ECC is a database is database sap is database s4 hana is database yeah but which one is faster which one is better in terms of performance s4 hana s4 hana is faster okay so it is supporting any database doesn't mean that it works better than s4 hana okay so ecc is the previous version of s4 hana where the customer can choose their required database okay it supports different databases like ms sql mysql db2 right even hana it can run on any database and the programs whatever the programs tables created in ecc are optimized to support any database okay for that reason so it has to there are lot of complex programs designed to process the data right and later they have introduced hana database what is hana database How it, is, uh, how it is uh, different from uh, traditional RDBMS? It stores the data in RAM. Yes, it stores data in the primary uh, memory. That is uh, RAM, RAM level. So accessing data is uh, very faster than like accessing data from the disk, right? Accessing data from RAM is more faster than accessing data from hard disk. Data. so in s4 hana all the programs tables are optimized to run on the which database hana data database. database so they have deleted lot of programs which are in uh, ecc they have deleted few tables which are available in ecc because they are not needed as needed in the S sap s4 hana okay the performance of the programs are improved the execution time is reduced okay there are few special features of sap s4 hana in terms of tables and uh, there is process called multi core parallel processing where it uh, divides one single task into multiple process and combine the results so that the execution time is faster okay when we are using sap s4 hana and also we have data compression so if it is take 10 mb to save a specific table data in ecc if you take if you save same table data in hana it will take might be 1 mb because it uses data compression technique okay so when we uh, know when we know about column tables uh, you can understand that uh, data compression technique when we complete the basics of uh, programming we'll see uh, the features of hana and everything okay 
and can we use any other database on SAP S4 HANA? No sir. It supports only HANA database. How can we read data from database tables? Uh, generation. Sorry, what is it? Generation, I mean, programming languages. To read data, we use ABAP statements. So, nothing but open SQL statements. Which statements we use? type of statements we use this is very important please observe open sql statements. and what is abap which generation programming language it is fourth generation fourth generation fourth. programming languages you can see what is the first generation programming mission language right zeros and ones second generation assembly language we use some symbols to create the programs here we use assembler, right, to convert uh, the second generation programming language into mission language. Right. So, so whatever the programming language we use, what is the system understandable language? Binary language. Binary Binary language. language. That is first generation language, only zeros and ones. So whatever the program we write, uh, there will be a assembler or compilers, sorry, assemblers which will convert this code into binary language, right? In third generation, we have interpreters, right? Yes, so this, will, this will convert our normal uh, uh, human readable statements into mission language in background, okay? So by each generation, the complexity of programming is uh, reduced, right? They made it more readable. They, they are, uh, start using human readable statements in the programs, right? For example, select, read, insert, update, delete. These are all human readable statements, right? Yes, sir. So ABAP is a fourth generation programming language and what type of SQL we use here? Open SQL. So what is Open SQL? Open SQL, these statements are designed to support any database. To support any database. Backend database can be anything, right? We write open SQL statements in ABAP. These open SQL statements will be automatically converted into which statements? Native SQL What are these native SQL statements? What are these native SQL statements? These are database specific. What, what about open SQL? Database independent. Right? But native SQL statements are database specific statements. If you write native SQL statements, 
those statements will work only on the specific database it won't work for the other database okay clear yes sir but which statements we use in a app open sql statements so these will be automatically converted into native sql statements in background you don't need to worry about the back end database you don't need to worry about the native sql statements okay so what are the statements what are the, what type of statements we need to implement what are the recommended uh, statements open sql open statements we, we should always use uh, open sql statements in our ababap programming can we write native sql statements also yes you can implement but that is not uh, recommended why it is not recommended so what is the database it supports s4 hana take take s4 hana as example which database it supports sql database sap s4 hana which database it supports hana database hana database right? only hana database now can we implement native sql statements which are compatible for hana because it supports only hana database right Yes. We can write right. We can implement native SQL statements, right? So that uh, uh, these statements are ne not needed to convert again, right? They'll directly execute. Yes, no conversion needed, right? Yes, sir. But it is not recommended by SAP. They recommend not to use native SQL statements. So what is the reason? Since we are using only one database, that is HANA database. right native sql statement should work why they are recommending open sql statements which are compatible for uh, all database all database systems even though we are using only hana database why they are recommended to use open sql statements is there might be some changes in future right there might be some changes in future they might introduce a new database Which are which is more advanced than Hana, right? There might be a new technique, new technology in database. They might introduce in near future. If you write native SQL statements, what will happen? If you are going with a new database system, which are more advanced than Hana, are they going to work? Uh, the uh, the native SQL statements which you implemented are going to work on the new database. no sir no right so if you implement native sql statements if there is any change in database they are not going to work again what you need to do you have to change all your programs right we can enhance the that's additional effort right you have to identify all the programs with native sql statements and you have to correct all of them right so to avoid such issues sir So SAP always recommends write open SQL statements which are compatible for uh, any database. It will convert uh, this open SQL into native SQL in background. Depends on the backend database, the uh, SAP system will automatically convert them into the relevant native SQL statements. So that in future, if there is any change in database, you don't need to worry about it, right? Because you are using open SQL statements. they will be converted automatically in background into native sql statements depends on the backend database <coughs> right clear is everyone clear yes sir what is the transaction code to create programs in sap sap 
ABAP editor, right? This is the transaction code to create the programs in SAP. So why we create programs in SAP? To retrieve data? Any, yeah, to process data, right? To perform some calculations and display the output, right? Or to insert data into database tables or to update data in database tables or to delete data in database tables, right? But these kind of functionalities, we create the applications using a web editor, right? Now, when you are working on a program, if you read some data from the database table in the program, where you are going to keep that program, sorry, where you are going to keep the data in program level, the data, whatever you, whatever you are reading from the database tables, where you are keeping that data in the program level. We use data objects, right? Okay. Yes, sir. During program, program run time only, during program run time, can we store data permanently in program level? No, sir. No, sir. We cannot store, right? The memory for this data objects will be active only during program run time. As long as the program is in running, it will be allocated with some memory to store the data. Once the program execution is completed, all the memory and data objects will be deleted, right? So what are the different data objects available? Variable. Constant, constant work area. Yes. An internal table. Variable. Constant. What is variable? Yeah. Variables are used to store the single value during Stores program runtime. Store the single value. Okay. Program runtime. Program runtime. Program runtime. Uh, even value also we can change while uh, running yes. the program. Yes. Value can be changed. Right? Value of the variable can be changed. Okay, what is variable? How it, it's like a single value like this. For example, employee ID. It is a variable. It can store only employee ID, a single value. Okay. What is the syntax to define these variables? In the program, what is the syntax we need to use? Data, variable name, type, data. and data type. Data, variable name. Variable name can be anything. That's right? Sure. Depends on your requirement. You can assign some meaningful name. You should always assign some meaningful name. Okay? Name can be anything. But make sure you are going to use some meaningful name. And follow naming conventions as per your project okay usually we use lv or gv for variables local variable or global variable right we'll see what is the difference between local variable and global variable in programs for now i'm using lv for example emp id 
type type c we have to provide the data type right yes sir how to assign Dat the data type character c and uh, length Dat 10 this is one way of assigning uh, data type and length for this variable now you are familiar with data elements right you know the concept of data elements right so instead of this uh, instead of this uh, what you can do yep beside employee type type demo employee id use data elements use data elements to define the variables or constants so these data elements contains uh, technical attributes right like data type and length they will be assigned to this variable name okay if you don't have any data element for the specific value then use data type and length individual data type and length okay clear next one constant what is constant constant also value. can store single value but the value cannot be changed yes assign is proper word for constants we can assign single value program run time cannot change the value right we cannot change the value of the constants okay so can you tell me if you examples for few constants city yeah like Five city value. country right okay. for for example some department wherever you want to use some default values make it as a constant okay country for all the employees country is same then make it as a constant okay constants can also save a single value like this for example country ian how to define the constant constant the keyword constant. is uh, constants constants constant, constant name, name. name can be anything here also name can be anything but always use some meaningful name right for example in projects we use like this if it is local constant we use lc and some uh, ctry right whatever the letters i am typing in lower case right they are not keywords you can use uh, any name but we need to make sure we are following some meaningful naming standards right and type what is the type c length country key length for example 4 or value since we are using we have we have already familiar with data elements concept what we need to use land one land one is the standard data element right for country or if you have a custom data element use it okay so what is the standard data element for country let's land check 
land1 or land1 underscore gp let me check that So you can check that in any uh, standard tables or you can also find in data elements. Let me find in uh, data elements. Search for data elements. Mm, land one is also there. land1 gp is also there so we can use land1 character 3 okay what is the master table for uh, countries you can see that in the domain value tables What is the master table for country codes? This should be the foreign key check table for country. Wherever you are using country field, right? What is the check table you have to take? 3005. Okay. Sir? Yes. Uh, when we try to, <coughs> uh, when we try to create a foreign key relationship, uh, that means we can give manual like select the field and go to foreign key option or simply we can give the check table in value table sir yeah there are two yeah the cross is same actually you need to select the field and click on the key symbol it will display the foreign key uh, pop-up where you need to enter the check table and create proposal right if the data elements are same in both tables it will automatically assign the foreign key relationship, right? That is one way. Yeah. What is the other uh, thing? If you have already maintained the value table, right, in the domain level, when you are assigning the foreign key, it will automatically propose a check table. Okay? Okay, sir. If you don't maintain the value table, then you need to enter the check table and uh, click on create proposal. Okay? Okay, okay sir. Hmm. Now come back to constants. So this is the data type. Uh, I am using data element and uh, it is mandated value. to assign a value. value country code I N U S D E whatever. Okay. So whatever the value you assigned here, can I change it later? No sir. No, no sir. No, we cannot change that value later in the program. Okay. Next one. It is important interview question as well. The difference between uh, constants and variables. Work area. Single Cut. record. So work area is used to store uh, single record program. Single program. record programs during Run program runtime. Runtime. Run what do you mean by record? It contains <laughs> collection of fields with some collection. meaningful information. Yeah. Right, one or more fields. There might be one field as well, like this. We call this as a record. A record contains record. Some, some meaningful information. I'm 
from some department right so this is a record so work area can store a single record a single record during program runtime right next one how to define work area how how to define the work area data work area name type mm. step structure one. name define the structure type type structure structure what is this type structure it contains group of fields we group the fields for example here we have three fields right employee id employee name and department so we need to create a type structure with these three fields right since you are familiar with the data dictionary structure sir you can also use uh, data dictionary structure to define the work area or table you can also use a table name to define the work area how it is different when you use table and when we use a type structure or vdic structure if you use table you are going to refer all the fields all the table fields available in the table right when you define a work area with reference to the table but if you take data dictionary structure or type structure you can take whatever the fields you need you don't need to define work area for all the table fields you can group required fields into structure or type structure and you can define your work area with only those required fields okay now what is the syntax to define data use some meaningful name for example ls in some projects they use ls local structure or wa wa underscore some work area name type what is the type we have to use table or structure name. table name or table name or structure name. for example z demo employee right i'm using table name you can also use a structure name if you want to use only few selected fields few required fields okay fourth one internal table what is the use of internal table i uh, can store uh, sorry can store multiple tables more records store more records store multiple loads that to temporarily yeah only during during the program time temporarily only once yes. uh, program got stopped means Yes. Memory will be deleted. Yes, yes, one or more records, right? At least one record or multiple records. It can accept multiple records. Okay. So when there is a requirement to handle one or more than one record, we go for internal tables. Okay. Internal table will be like this.
okay so you can store more than one record in internal tables so what is the syntax to define the internal table again same data statement and name of the internal table you can use it underscore emp or any name any meaningful name okay any meaningful name difference on the scenario you need to use type table of or standard table of both are same z demo underscore employee table name structure name or local type structure name you can use any of these three to define the internal table name. okay clear how can we add data to internal table one way is we can select data from the database tables right depends on some condition right the data what we selected from the database tables will be populated to corresponding internal table that is one way if you want to add it manually what are the ways append and insert insert append or insert insert from work area right so we can append or insert from work area what is the difference between append and insert one is the data at the end yes always add one record at the end of the internal table right append it's like stack insert 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 it will add in specific position yeah by using okay. insert statement you can add the record at specific position for example if you want to add a new record in the second position you can use a insert statement and the index specific index number right how to process uh, records of the internal table to calculate something or to do something on the all internal table records what we need to do We use loop statement. Loop. We use loop statement to process the records of the internet. okay so we process records one by one from internal table to work area is everyone clear on this yes sir let's create a simple program What is the transaction code to create the program? SC SC thirty eight SC thirty eight a bad editor. All the program names, all the custom objects name in a bad should starts with the Z or Y. Y. Z demo. create the program you cannot create you cannot use same name for multiple programs program name should be unique okay and you should not use any spaces in between the program name you can use only underscore if you want to separate the name okay for better readability provide the program title 
what type of the program we need to use executable program so what is executable program executable program will work independently it can accept the input and uh, provide the output independently it can execute uh, independently okay select executable program and uh, save your program in specific uh, package for now we'll save it in the local object now if you observe here it is automatically generating one statement that is report statement as a first line of the program okay and what is this uh, that is used for any uh, like uh, for future any uh, other uh, yeah change log we can maintain the change log change log and we can also maintain details about the program okay initially we can maintain the details about the program and who created and what is the transaction code it is using right and going forward we can maintain the change log okay here so this this is a commented code it cannot be executed here you can maintain the text okay okay now let's uh, display some simple output how to how to define uh, any data object or what is the statement to display the output write statement write statement demo program that's it it's a simple program a simple statement now what is the next step check the syntax what is the next step check, check the syntax using control f2 is the shortcut key or you can also use this symbol check the syntax no syntax errors found then what is the next step activate the program program should be active and execute it now so it will display that output this is the output okay so what is the statement we use to display the output write statement here we are not using any data objects to store the data and display it right so how syntax check will work for example i am using some incorrect statement incorrect keyword now check the syntax what it is saying the statement writ is not expected a correct similar statement is right it is proposing it is proposing a correct statement right if you think uh, that is the correct statement you can just click here correct errors it will automatically correct the keyword or you can also manually change the syntax clear and every statements uh, and every statement should ends with uh, this period right dot that is mandatory clear now let's define some variables and use data objects concepts let's define some variable what is the keyword to define variable data data, data. lv underscore value i c length 10 what does this means it's a character type data it is a <clears throat> character type data with length 10 right this is how you can define the variable the what is the alternative if you have a data element if you know the data element you can directly use uh, the data element name here is it available or not i don't see okay this data element is available you can use uh, this data element to define that variable so whatever the length whatever the length maintained here character term right so the same properties will be applied to this variable okay now did we populate any value to the variable is there any value in it so no, it's a empty 
memory space. We just created a space, empty memory, to store some value. How to populate the value to variable? <coughs> like this. Manually, LV underscore value to? equal to. Is it a character type data or numeric data? Character type. This character. type. Employee ID. Character type data, character. right? In single quotes, for character type data, you need to maintain the value, this hard coded value is in single quotes. 100. Right? Now, we assigned a value to this variable. Now, how to print this? How to display it in the output? Using write statement. I am using variable. So, whatever the value available in this variable should be displayed in the output. EMP 100. Right? Check the syntax. Now I am assigning two values, right, for the same variable. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now what would be the output? EMP 200. First one is overlapped by the second one. Yes. Since a variable can store only single value, right, this value will overwrite the existing value. Okay. Now, what would be the output? Now, what would be the output? Same 200. 200 only, sir. 200 only? There is no output. Because? Clear statement we mentioned. clearing the value. We are clearing the value in the variable. We are using a clear statement, right? We are populating the data and immediately we are clearing it. Right? So, what is a clear statement? Clear statement is clear to the clear the value. Clear the, the value. Okay. If you want to clear the value, you can use clear statement. Can we clear the value of constants? No, that is not no, possible. You cannot change the value. You cannot clear the value. Okay. Is everyone clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, you use a clear statement at bottom level. No? If you use it at a starting level, means it will come to values or single values. Sir. So, I'm first I am first I am defining the value, defining the variable, right? Creating a empty space. Then there is no meaning in clear. Because there is no value, right? I just defined it, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, anyway, I'm clearing it. I'm populating employee 100. And again, immediately, I'm populating employee 200. Now, employee 100 will be overwrite with the employee 200, right? Yes. So, there will be only one value. Employee, now, now, we have employee 200. Okay. So now we need to is overwritten with the I'm sorry. Yeah. Now we need to display both the employee side in this way to be clear that So if you want to if you want to handle multiple employee IDs, what is the alternative we have? Variables we can take will be value one yeah, value. Go two. for internal tables. We have because here have here you have two records, right? Employee 100 record, employee 200 record. It's more right. than one means internal table we need. More to. than one record to handle uh, more than one record, we have to go for. Uh, yeah, there. Uh, or for some reason, you want to display two employees, two single employee IDs. Then define one more variable like value 2. And assign uh, 
a separate value for uh, value 2 and here use comma lv underscore value 2 for that if you if you have to maintain multiple values you need to use chain operator like this okay to maintain multiple values using comma now you can display both uh, employee IDs right yes, sir. because here you are using two different variables LV value and LV value 2 to handle two different employee values right sir how to yes. get those values one by one that in your line one after another okay uh -huh. you need to use this one slash S slash when it okay now it will print one after the other like this okay is everyone clear yes sir okay so uh, we'll stop here for today in the next session we'll work on uh, more variables work areas and internal tables